involved here. Burton having all kinds of problems with Mayweather's quickness, and now his face is bloody. Mayweather sensing he can end this very soon. So many shots over and over again. The speed of Mayweather right now is just trying to break down both slowly. Mayweather teeing off now on the head of Emmanuel Burton. And Kevin, we talked about it in the first fight. And Layman Brewster maybe needed to change his approach. Emmanuel Burton camping out right in front of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Not a smart idea. But the big thing that Burton knew is that he couldn't outbox Floyd. He has to create a war situation. One thing about Floyd, Floyd is being very offensive for leverage. Look at his legs. Look at him plant. And then unload. Burton continues to stand in front of shot, Floyd Mayweather shot, Jr. Shot, shot. Not the best of ideas. Trying to slug back. Winning a slug test for Emmanuel Burton shot, shot. is something I'm not sure can happen. His job is to get out of the round. Oh, oh what can hurt be? What can hurt bad? All right, man. Marquez is hurt bad. 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 Marquez is Morales has been known to start slowly and then build tempo as the fight progresses. But can he do it against the body attack of Barrera? Now Morales begins to land the landing. Five or six big right hands in this sustained rally. And another. Barrera appears to be weary. Lay at center ring. Morales takes over the fight with his right hand. that he is the bravest fighter in the ring tonight. Crowd trying to lift their man. Suarte holding on. Remember Lennon Hearns? Halpin's close. He's close. What a brave man. He's brave. Deloy is right there. It's Lennon Hearns all over. If Halpin stops this fight. Halfway through the round, and then he's going to explode. Let Norton punch himself out in the early going. And that's what Kenny is scoring in the hands of the judges. It's too close for me to score. Unless Holmes explodes here. Kenny Norton taking it to Larry. Larry is fighting back really now. This is what he has to do. See if he's got enough left to take the champ out. Scores with the right hand. The champ comes back. Comes back. It's a big round for Kenny Norton, I'm afraid. In the waiting moments now of the round, Larry is 
fighting desperately to stay in there. This has been a great boxing show. Both fighters courageous as Holmes comes back, scores a big shot. He's got gone to trouble. Yes. He's got to follow up. Uppercut scores. Running out of time, and that's it. It's all over. Uh oh, uh -oh. Right hand from right Holy. Hand. Definitely. Stunning. Holyfield. George is coming on like gangbusters here. And a little short chopping uppercuts. The overhand right. Holyfield's got to move. He's gone to that in this round. Here comes Holyfield. Back. Doubling his left and his right. Scoring heavily. A series of approximately half a dozen combinations. Flesh and George form his face, and he's hardly bunched. He certainly stopped him. And here's George coming back. The one's got to be the most exciting round of the fight so far. These kids playing in the playground for a good right by Lyle. Three times the second round. In our track. Lyle all over. Lyle has Foreman in trouble. Foreman is down. It started with a Well, in the 15 months since Zaire, he's been relatively inactive except for that charade in Toronto against the frightful five. Now, Foreman fighting back. Oh, what? Foreman is in trouble. Lyle caught him with a good left. Now, George, now, now, George struck back. Lyle covering up against the rope. His hand was screaming to Foreman, hit him in the body. George at the head. Lyle is now wide open. He is right. Lyle trying to swing back. This is an artistic. Only 10 seconds left in the round. Now Foreman was staggered. Foreman was staggered by a Lyle left. Foreman goes down. Foreman goes down.